Okay, this is my first test of the Brick Blickman Therminator uh, cooling, what cooling system. I've just brought the water up to a boil and I'm about to do a test to see how efficient it is. I have all the ins and outs connected to the Therminator in the proper direction and I've uh, installed a shutoff valve on the water outside so that I can uh, adjust it. So I'm going to turn on the water, the cooling water. I'm going to do it full at first and then I'm going to let the water out at full speed and see what uh, temperature I get. I got the thermometer here and it might take a little bit to adjust but we'll see how it goes. It started off at 84 degrees. Let's see, it's still fairly high. It's coming down 84. I probably should have ran the cold water just a little bit longer. It's coming down pretty quick though. It's down a you can see. This is at full speed with the water in my hose going full speed, which I have pretty cold water. The other night I checked it, it was like 60 degrees. When I'm down to 68, I'm below what I need. I'm lower than I want to be, so I'm going to slow down my... Made a few uh, I made a few adjustments and I got it down to 68 degrees with the full flow coming out of the boil tank. And I, my water over here, you can see in Maine, the water is pretty cold, so the flow is pretty low. Probably down around 55 for the, my water temp. This is my final temp on the water. Oh, here we go. It's actually a little lower than I wanted. I think I'm really going to have to choke the output water out way down because it's done. I'd say it's below 70 with this thermometer. I'd have to get a more accurate one to tell you what it is, but on the output I had it down very low at the beginning and I had to raise it up so that I could hit this temperature. It worked way better than I expected. Thank <laughs> you.